This is Barron's Court on the District and Piccadilly lines, which is another of those stations that I just quite like. It has a rather Art Nouveau look about it, which I think gives it a certain unique charm. Barron's Court is actually one of London's newer suburbs, relatively speaking. When the District Railway built their line through here in the early 1870s, this was still the countryside. In the late 1880s and early 1890s, the suburbs started developing around here, spreading out from Hammersmith, and by the beginning of the 20th century, there were more than enough residents to justify a station. There are some mighty interesting Victorian houses around here. I particularly like these here. These are St Paul's Studios, designed by Frederick Wheeler and built in 1891 for artists, hence the huge glassy bit in the middle of every house. The area as a whole is West Kensington, which of course also has a station named after it. I could do a video about that if you want. It's not clear where the name Barons Court comes from. Officially there is no area of London named Barons Court, although residents around here do know it as such. I speak from experience, as I spent the first few months of my life here, although obviously I didn't call it Barons Court because I was a baby. Uh, where was I? I've completely sidetracked myself. One theory is that it's named after Barons Court, one word, an estate in County Tyrone, but the connection is a little loose. The argument is that part of the land was developed by Sir William Balliser, and he may have had something to do with Barons Court. Palliser's family have given their names to a number of local roads. It could, of course, be that Barons Court was named to match Earl's Court. I've seen arguments for both. I'll let people fight it out in the comments section. The station was built in 1905. The architectural style is quite similar to the building at Earl's Court, which was built in 1915. The architect for both was Harry Ford. I always think this station has a very suburban look. It's too small to resemble an inner city station, but it's architecturally entirely unlike a country station. No doubt it would have looked very swish in 1905. It feels like the district railway asserting its identity as a sophisticated railway for sophisticated commuters. On the platform you might notice these benches. Now these date all the way back to the station's opening and I just love the fact that they're still in use. These enamel signs are a particularly attractive feature to me. In 1985 the whole shebang was grade 2 listed and in the 90s a restoration was carried out by Avanti Architects. Barron's Court remains resolutely suburban, and the station is charmingly anachronistic, if not outright bohemian. And long may it remain so. Hello all, I hope you enjoyed this Art Nouveau episode of Tales from the Tube. If so, please do hit the like button and maybe even subscribe. Barron's Court isn't particularly special as underground stations go. It's not one I use very often, but I just like it. How about you? Do you have a station that you find strangely charming? Leave a comment and let me know. And I'll see you very soon for another tale from the tube. Cheerio.